so back in from the run and going to get stuck into what I call the world-class recovery shake. And you might be thinking, what the hell is this big green thing here? Um, this is absolutely amazing. Mm. Don't be afraid of the color green, guy. everyone. It won't, won't scare you. A lot of people look at that and go, ah! So what it is, is basically I put some dates in it. So you got, I've got a big box of organic dates here. I put a few dates in it. I've got celery that I put in it. Put bananas in it. Um, only got frozen ones, uh, luckily, that we've had stored because we don't have any ripe ones at the moment. Um, and also I chuck in a super greens. So this is the super greens powder I use. It's extremely alkalizing and dense in superfoods, really high in antioxidants. So that's what makes it green. I put a scoop of that in there. And I always be really careful to use um, purified water as well. A lot of our tap water has toxins and chemical crap in it, fluoride. If you think fluoride's good for you, go to fluoride.org and learn a bit more about that. So this gets rid of fluoride. It's called a Gen 2 filter. Get them over eBay, they're really good. So I, I put quite a few, or I put lots of all that in here, blend it up and drink it. And it's it's following Greg Plitt's principles. And Greg Plitt is one of the world's top fitness model. And he's all about getting liquid foods into your body straight after a workout. The reason why is all the blood right now after this workout, all the blood is in my legs and in my heart um, towards all the muscles. And so if I ate something really dense right now, like breads or meats or anything like that, what it's going to do, it's going to force the blood away from all my limbs and my heart and force them to the digestive system to do, uh, so the digestive system can work. And that sacrifices recovery. But also, a lot of those complex foods take hours and hours to break down. So you're not actually getting them into the cells and you're missing a crucial hour, hour window of recovery um, straight after exercise. So what this does, by blending it and by using fruits, the um, the natural sugars get straight into your muscles, replenish muscle glycogen with the dates and bananas and um, and celery and, and stuff. that It uh, replenishes all your electrolytes, helps you recover to a much higher level, and then the super greens powder um, helps with antioxidants, helps get rid of free radicals. Um, so what you eat at the start of the day is crucial for setting up how good your day is going to be. So eat foods rich in antioxidants, rich in vitamins, rich in minerals. Normally I put a bit of kale in here, which is also really high in protein. Uh, and will this make you feel so much better. And the other benefit of exercising first thing in the morning is that your metabolism's really high throughout the day. So if you're someone who sits at a desk, uh, you're going to be burning fat while you're sitting there because of the work you've done in the morning. Don't do the exercise or well, your metabolism just stays the same and your body's going to struggle to burn off any calories that you eat throughout the day. So, so generally what I do is I start digging into this. I take it over to the lounge room over there where I sit down with my laptop, drink this, uh, and I'll, I then like to answer three questions to start off the day, which uh, Tony Robbins uh, got me onto. And those questions are, what are what exciting things are happening in my life? Uh, what opportunities are there for me? And also, what can I do to, uh, today to make today special? And what the point of those questions are to get the mind focusing on all the positive things that are happening in your life. Because let the go, let the mind uh, let the mind go, and the, the monkey mind will start happening, and you'll start thinking of everything, and maybe some negative thoughts will uh, slip in, and they'll start growing and growing. So it's important that you actually direct your mind with the questions you ask yourself, uh, and that then you know gets me into a good mindset to get stuck into the day. So. Hopefully, uh, this has give, given you a bit of an insight um, into what I believe starts off for a successful day. And I'm not claiming at all that I'm a massive success or anything like that. But what I do know is that doing this morning routine makes me feel really good. It makes me feel like I'm on the right track. And I know that I've taken these principles from some really successful people. People like Tony Robbins, people like T. Harbecker, people like Robin Sharma, people who have the results or, or, where they're at the stage of life where I want to be. So I know that just following that plan uh, gives you a much higher chance of getting there. So thanks for watching, guys, and hope you got a little bit out of this.